Welcome to Book Obsession. I'm Ashley Gunn. Today I'm going to do a review of Melanie Moreland's The Contract. I've done a book review of hers before. First of all, she writes men that I hate really well. This one starts with this guy, Richard, who is Catherine's boss. Catherine's his PA. She took the job purposely because she literally gets paid more because he is such a jerk to work for that the company cannot keep someone to work for him. And um, that should just tell you how much you're going to despise this guy from the beginning. Catherine, on the other hand, is just this sweetheart. She works really, really hard because she was going to college and had to quit when her, let's call her mother, got sick. Catherine grew up in group homes and then ran away. And when she ran away, she met this woman. This woman actually became a foster parent and everything to keep Catherine with her. So for all intents and purposes, I think of her as Catherine's mom. And I think that the book definitely portrays it that way. Richard gets passed over for a partnership that he really wanted. And so throwing a tantrum like a little kid decides that he's going to switch from the company that he's currently working at to a competitor. And the way that he's going to do that is by making this competitor think that he's leaving because him and his PA are in a relationship. And this new company allows those types of relationships and like a family environment. And the company they work for now will fire them and are completely against their relationship which of course makes Catherine the center of this whole thing because she cannot stay at her current job. She's going to get fired when they think that he's she's in a relationship with Richard. And she has to agree to Richard's plan because she needs this money. This money is how she pays for her mom to stay in this retirement home because her mom has Alzheimer's and cannot take care of herself. Catherine's insistent that her mom will have this really nice retirement home where she can paint and see the garden and those types of things. When Richard comes to her with his plan, but really what it's like is gambling with her future and her mom's future. So I completely understand why Catherine is hesitant, but at the same time has no choice. And so the, the plan is that Richard and Catherine are going to pretend to be married. Richard's going to pay Catherine monthly for her to pretend to be his fiance because he knows that he needs her in order for this new job to take him seriously as a family man and she's going to be out of work. It kind of is the best of both worlds, but at the same time, if he just wouldn't have done it, that would have been fantastic. Anyways, Catherine is just absolutely amazing and, and really does try to get along with him and make his life somewhat better and she definitely has that see the good in people mentality and tries to make his bare apartment into a home, try to have some kind of relationship while they're together. They have this kind of hate attraction. They definitely understand that they don't like each other. Richard has this absurd idea about Catherine that she just spends her money frivolously and doesn't know how to take care of herself and stuff like that because she did. She lived in a dump because she couldn't afford anything else. She ate peanut butter jelly sandwiches because she couldn't afford anything else because her priority was her mother. And so it takes Richard a while to catch on to the fact that she just doesn't put herself first. That's the difference in their lifestyles. Anyways, my point is the beginning of this book and maybe even two thirds of this book, I thought we're good. But the end where Richard really has to figure out the type of man he wants to be, outstanding. Melanie did it again. I really liked this book. It exceeded my expectations. I was expecting it to be something like a light romance. And instead, this is all about the characters. This is about their backgrounds. This is about their personalities, their choices, their morals and values. And I love that. You guys know that I'm absolutely about the characters. So this was perfect for me. As always, I'm going to put her link as the first link in my description so that if any of you guys would like to pick it up, that's where you guys can get it. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you have any questions or comments, leave that down below. And then if you like my reviews every Tuesdays and Thursdays, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you all for joining me.